Okay, so here we have a foundation, and I've uh, just shown the wall sitting on the foundation. So again, this is a plan view. I've just um, highlighted a little bit extra the corners because obviously these are where the measurements are taken from. Uh, and again, this uh, video is to do with the adjustments, and that just means, as I mentioned previously, um, is that we don't want to measure these corners twice. Uh, and obviously have too much concrete uh, on our delivery. So what we're going to do is uh, again deduct uh, this or uh, in effect I should say uh, we're going to make this into one trench and this into another trench and then we can see that this trench is now smaller and so too is this one because again we don't want to measure these corners twice because obviously we will be getting too much into our um, overall figure. So again what we need to do is uh, on our drawing you can see here I'm just drawing up the actual face work uh, line because that is the drawing that the architect will always give on his um, drawings for uh, us to be setting out to and to be working from. So again I'm going to do the length and the width of this small building and I'm going to say that we will have this let's say six five hundred or six and a half meters and proportionally I'm going to say this is going to be uh, two point eight so twenty eight hundred or two thousand eight hundred millimeters so what we need to do is we need to first of all know what the width of the foundation is going to be so we need to know this measurement already uh, and we're going to say that this is going to be 600 millimeters uh, I'll just do a quick little sketch here just um, just so we can put this all into like perspective and again without a ruler so I'll just quickly do this and do one or two little explanations. Um, if this is our trench, and again, I think we are all happy now with the symbols that we're going to have for soil. So everybody knows what soil is. And uh, we'll have the concrete going in at this height. So there's our concrete. Now what we do need to know is, uh, shouldn't have drawn that bit there, is our wall as well. So we'll have our brickwork there. I'll try and include that line if I can. Oh, not quite. Uh, and then we would have our inner leaf as well, which at this stage, down this low, would be uh, brickwork or concrete blocks as well and we will have the overall width of our wall as 300 millimeters. We'll look at that uh, a bit later on as well. Um, and just uh, if you're wondering why we have two different heights here, this would be the ground level, which is G L. So we've got ground level here, and here where it's been uh, the soil has been taken off, we call this our reduced level. Now I'm not going to dwell on those terms at the moment because uh, when we go into the videos, uh, uh, well it's going to be quite a while uh, before I get those videos done but they're going to be setting out, so we're going to be uh, setting out buildings and then we're going to look at reducing levels and site strip and everything for um, the start of a, a job. Okay, so what we need to do here now is, as we've said, we've just determined that the width of the trench is going to be 600 millimetres. Uh, again, like I said, on a wall that's going to be 300 mil uh, across, um, that is what we would be really looking for uh, a 600 width cap. Um, sorry, a 600 width trench. So what we need to do is we need to now look at what the the total 
length of this wall is, but we can see by looking at this, knowing this and knowing this, we have a 300 millimeter wall sitting on a 600 millimeter trench. So obviously this is 300 mil bigger than that. So divide that 300 to two, and we know that the projection that the foundation has uh, with the wall is going to be 150 mil either side, because obviously all those measurements there uh, tally up to the width of the foundation. So we know that this figure here, because this is the side of the wall, is going to be 150. So to well that. So those two together, 300 mil. So we know that we want uh, 600. Uh, sorry, 6,500 plus 300 mil is going to give us 6,800 from that side of the trench to that side of the trench. Okay. So again, it's just the overall length of the wall plus the two projections either side will give us this dimension. Okay, so we could call this one trench A. And we're going to call this one, because what we have now done in effect is we have now measured that. And we can see that this is identical uh, size to that, so this will be the same as that. So trench A and trench B, we will say, are both identical. So our adjustment is going to be 6.5 plus 0.3 because remember again these are now inter uh, meters <coughs> which uh, equals as we've just said up there 6.8 times 2 because obviously we've got that twice so that is trench A plus trench B so when we look at this one now we can see we've got a dimension here of uh, 2 meters 800 so we're going to have 2 meters 800 but this one rather than plus on it we can see that from there to there has already been measured in this calculation so we have now got to deduct that that dimension there off this and obviously we've got to do it twice because it happens here as well so if we look at this again on here <coughs> we've got 300 plus 450 so that distance there is 450 so again if we're just looking at this if this is the inside and this was the outside just so you can see exactly what we're doing this dimension here from here to there is what we have there there's the outside, there's the outside, inside, inside so 450 from the face of the wall there's our wall so from the face of the wall 450 back face of the wall 450 back takes us to there so we've got 450 plus another 450 it's going to be 0.9 so 2.8 minus 0.9 let's get back into here 2.8 minus 0.9 equals 1.9 meters and that is if we call this AB we'll call this trench C and trench D and again this is going to be times 2 equals times 2 equals 3.8 and that is trench C and trench D okay so again we just needed to uh, finalize what this one was we had 6.8 multiplied by 2 and that is going to give us our A and B so we have 13.6 underlined underlined add these two together to give us our total uh, length and we're going to have that plus 3.8 equals 17.4 
So that is the length. If we just write down our formula underneath this one, the width we've said is 600, and we haven't determined what the depth is yet. So again, this is going to be 0 0.6 multiplied by, and I'll just change this one a little bit. I'm going to say that this is going to be 450 millimeters. 450 millimeters in uh, meters is going to be 0 0.45. So what we need to do now is put these all together. And what we have is 17.5, uh, so 0.4, sorry, multiplied by 0.6, multiplied by 0.45 equals. So what we have here is the total amount of concrete, and I'm going to round that up to 4.7 meters, one, two, three, three measurements cubed. So that would be the total amount of concrete required for this small building.